about your father in this process? Well, listen, I, I, I've known so much about him, I, you know, but I've seen just his fortitude just to keep fighting, to never stop. I mean, you're watching him do six events a day, six different states. Uh, you know, I always knew he had that. I always knew his work ethic was unparalleled. But I think the process has changed him so much. Also, when you see those people, you know, who've lost their jobs, whose American dream has been outsourced to China, when you see all of you see that emotion and they come up to him uh, with that last look of hope, it's incredible. It's hard not to, you, you wouldn't be human uh, if it didn't change you. So I've, it's changed me, it's changed my siblings, and it's certainly changed him because he's been seeing that for 18 months. So it's amazing. I wish people saw the employer. I wish people saw the father, the grandfather, because, you know, there is a point in time where you do have to speak loudly, where you do have to be aggressive. Your voice is never going to get heard otherwise. Uh, but if those people saw the guy at a dinner table, if those guys, people saw the guy that's employed, tens of thousands of people and had their livelihoods you know, in his control because you know, his success was so dependent on their success. You know, those are the people. You see story after story of those people that have worked with him for 30 years that really know the real Donald Trump. Uh, you know, and that's different. And that's, I think, the Donald Trump that America is starting to see, is starting to know. And I think that's the Donald Trump that America really needs. Ultimately, hopefully, we just shed some light on the process. We hopefully get more people involved to be able to say, hey, you know what, maybe I can go out there and actually speak my mind freely without being worried, about, again, about being put in some sort of basket, about being boxed in a corner. But what does that look like if he doesn't win? I mean, what does that, where does that energy go? Well, you know, I think the energy goes, you know, to, back to the people that we're trying to fight for, uh, you know, to those people who haven't had a voice in a long time. I think hopefully there's others that can take that movement up. I think my father will remain, you know, involved somewhat. But again, in a fair election, we're going to respect the outcome. And, uh...